Hello, and welcome back to my channel. As most of you may know, the Salem Witch Trials took place in 1962. I am pretty sure that when you hear the word witch, a certain image comes to mind. But I am here to assure you that during the Salem Witch Trials, no one was actually burned by the stake. However, there were over 200 people that was accused and some were even tortured. Today, I'm going to be going over five different ways that the accused was punished. Number one, cutting. Cutting was used for the torture and execution of a living person. It was also applied as an act of humiliation after death. The executions usually consisted of the person receiving cuts to their arms, legs, and chest, and it led to the amputation of their limbs. It was followed by decapitation or a stabbing to the heart. Dunking. This was a form of punishment that was mainly reserved for witches. A supposed witch was strapped to a seat and it was lowered all the way into the water. And then the person would be allowed to come up for air before being lowered back down again. While they were desperately gasping for air, that was their moment to confess. And if there was no confession, then that meant that they would be dunked again. And this happened until eventually the person confessed or it led to their death. Number three, hanging. Now there were two ways that the accused was hung during this time. The first way was called the short drop. This meant that the victim would die of strangulation. The second way was called the long drop. And this basically meant that the victim's neck would snap before they felt the pain of strangulation. It was said that the hanging was hardly ever about the criminal, but rather a lesson for children and other vulnerable townspeople. Number four, pressing. This form of torture was simple yet effective. The victim would be laid flat on their stomach with a board placed on their back. An increasing load of weight will be put on the victim's back until the load became too much to bear and the person will be crushed to death. This form of torture happened to a man by the name of Giles Corey when he and his wife was accused of witchcraft. Number five, pair of anguish. It may be named after a fruit, but there was nothing sweet about this device. This device was placed in a subject's mouth, nostril, or anus, and it was slowly cranked open wider and wider until the person confessed or they died from blood loss. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see more top five Halloween or fall inspired videos, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thank you again and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.